In this video, we'll learn about the calculations part. Calculations are basically of two types in Tableau. The one first one is nothing but the database related calculations and second is table related calculations. Database related calculations are directly related to your database where you can just calculate the difference percentage or you can say as minimum maximum from that place. Whereas there are second type of table related calculations are those which have been calculated based on the output in Tableau. Suppose if you create some calculation in this place, suppose if you uh, draw some chart in this Tableau itself, based on the chart analysis, if you calculate something that will come as table related calculations. With the help of example, you'll understand it much more better. Now the very first one which I can show you is percentage of total. So what I've done is I've just basically brought this data that's a category here and sum of sales at this place. I've, I'm getting the sum of sales total which is given as 12642502. That's the total which I've got. If I want to calculate some percentage of this total, which category is contributing how much percentage in this total itself. So that is the topic that is percentage of total. So whatever output I'm getting in the Tableau, based on that, if I'm calculating something that is nothing but table related calculations. So how did I bring this? First of all, I'll just clear the sheet here. Pick up the category in the rows, pick up the sales into the text part. And there's no grand total here. So I'll go to this analysis and select as totals, show column grand totals. I'm getting the column grand totals. I'll expand it so you can see it better way like this. Yeah. Now I want to find out which category is giving how much percentage to this place. So for ca calculating the percentage itself, so I'll just click on this drop down and uh, then I'll select this as quick table calculations. And if you see there are these are the quick table calculations which are given. So if I select the option as percentage of total, now you can easily understand which technology has which uh, category has given the highest sales. So technology is one thing which has given the highest sales among all of them. The lowest sales is which I've got it from the office supply itself. So that is nothing but the 29.96 that is 30 percent is approximately. Now if I want to show this calculation in the form of a bar chart, how do I do that? So for that I'll just remove everything and then I'll select this option as category into the rows and then I can pick up the sales and drop into the columns part. So if I want I can swap it like this on this place. Now if I just click on this T that is I'll be getting a sum of sales of all these options and if I expand it so that you can easily see that like this. Now, if I want to see what is the percentage given by everything, all this uh, you can see as categories, same method, I'll just click on this drop down and I can select this option as quick table calculation. And from this place, I can select this option as percentage of total. Now with the help of bar graph, I can tell you the highest percentage which is given by technology, though definitely I can see with the help of this length of the bar graph. But with the help of this number, I can tell you the exact that is 37.529. That is the percentage which has been sold by this, you know, said technology. It is the highest among all of them. So that is nothing but known as percentage of total itself. The next which I have the table calculations, I can show you an example here. Now I'll be showing you how to work on this place. This is the sales based on the order date. If you see that's a sales based on the order date. And these are the number of years 2012, 2013 and so on. Here I'm getting the numbers and here I'm getting the percentage of the total itself. So here if you see the highest percentage was given in the sales was done in 2015 that was 32.96. The lowest sales was done in the 2017 that was 1.01. So how do I create this kind of graph? If you want to understand in detail what is the number exactly, you can see that's the number given the highest sales and the lowest sales which is given a number here. How do I create this kind of chart itself, the bar graph itself? So first of all, what I'll do is I'll clear this calculation, everything clear the entire sheet and first I'll pick up this order date and drop into the columns. Second, I'll pick up the sales and drop into this rows part itself. So I'm getting this kind of line chart. Again, I'll pick up this sales and drop into this rows. I'm picking up the sales two times. So first I'll click on this automatic and convert into a bar chart itself. So I've selected the bar. Now I've got the entire bar graph. Here top and the bottom both are one and the same. I'll expand it so you can see it easily here like this at this place. Now if I want to give labels to all of them, I'll just select this option as T. That is the, I'll select this option T here. I'm getting the sales at this part. Why? Because I'm getting it twice because I've selected this date measure, that is the sales measure twice in this place. So therefore I'm getting two times this chart itself bar graph. But the first one I want in the number of, you know, the total sales. 
and the second graph which I want in the percentage itself. How much percentage, which year it has contributed. So for that what I'll do is, I'll select the second one, click on this drop down like this and I'll select the option as quick table calculations and I'll select as percentage of total. So here I can easily get that is the percentage of all the total which is given here. So easily I can find out the same thing 32.96, here it is the total sales. The lowest sales is 1.01 .01, that is the given here. Now if you want only this graph, you don't want this one, you can simply remove this and you can drop it outside. But before, before closing this, what is the difference between the database calculations and the table related calculations? The difference I've shown you based on the output you get in the table, uh, if you calculate that, that becomes as table related calculations, any output you get in the tableau part. So whatever output I've got based on that, I'm just trying to calculate. The difference you can understand with the help of this, both looks similar. How do I find out which one is the table related and which one is database related? The triangle says this is table related calculations. If you click on this drop down, click on this drop down and if you see there's a quick table calculation which is given here. So table related calculations will be uh, which will be uh, you know displayed in the form of a triangle whereas the normal calculations will, will have no triangle itself. So you can easily figure out. If you want only this, only this table related calculations in the charts and you don't want this one, pick up this and you can just drop it outside anywhere and you'll get this kind of chart. So this would be much more easier to represent and you know you can get an easy idea of this. So here it is given as percentage of total sales versus the order date itself. Let's see one more. If I want to find out the table calculations in this cross tab. So if you want you can just convert this bar graph into a cross tab. So how do you convert it? Right click on this place and select as duplicate as cross tab. So when you click on this duplicate as cross tab you get similar kind of table not the exact one because the fields are different here. Now in this place what I'm trying to show you is I am trying to calculate the percentage of sales done by category and subcategory percentage of sales done. I, now I don't want the numbers figures I want the percentage. So here if you observe I'll just remove this uh, heading which I don't want. So I'll just click on this drop down hide title which I don't want here. Now if you see furniture is the category subcategory is given it says 11.88 is the percentage done for the entire grand total which is given as 100%. So here if you see the 32 percentage is given for furniture, it is given as 29.96 for office supplies, technology is given as 37.53. How do I calculate this kind of calculations? This is table related calculations again. So first of all, I'll show you how to create this kind of, uh, you know, uh, cross tab. So I'll first remove everything from this place. Select category and in the rows field, select the subcategory and drop into this rows field again. And then I'll select this sales and drop into the text part. This is somewhat similar to the first example which I've shown percentage of total. If you remember there was a small you know cross tab which was given based on that we have seen. I'll show you the same thing here itself. Now I'm getting in the form of some numbers. These are the total sales done. So first I'll sort in the descending order like this one and I can see the highest sales done in the furniture is of the sea that is the chairs. Highest sales done in office supplies is about the storage and so on. But I want in the in the form of a percentage same method you can just select this drop down and select the option as quick table calculation and you can select the option as percentage of total. Now you can easily figure out percentage of chairs is 11.88 if you combine all of them you will be getting as 100%. How do you get the grand total first of all go to the analysis menu bar select the totals select the column grand total and you will be getting the column grand total but now you are getting entire grand total what if you want the category wise subtotal so here if you want for furniture how much is the total office supply how much is the total you can go to this analysis totals and you can select this add all subtotals so if you observe here for furniture the entire total is how much is 32.51 so if you find out which technology is giving you the highest sales so i'll again uh, close this hide this title itself so which one is giving you the highest sales category wise? If you observe the category wise highest sales is given by 37 that is the technology part. Now this is how you can work on this place. So that is the nothing but table calculations in the cross tab. So it's very simple if you want you can keep on you know adding some different details in this place right. Now if you don't want the category uh, you know sales if you want the profit drop it outside pick up the profit and drop into the text and these are the profits which are done. Here if, we, if I say in the descending order and now I want the profit in the form of a percentage, 
select quick table calculations percentage of total it says the highest profit done in this furniture is 11 percent in office supplies 9 percent and technology it is 7 percent you can find out which is positive and negative by using this method itself so this is nothing but table calculations in uh, the cross tab let's see one more how to differentiate how to differentiate between all of them uh, with the help of this diagram i can show with the cross tab itself there's one option named as running total what is this running total all about if i expand like this if i expand this place and if you see i'm getting running sum of total and here it is sales what exactly is the difference first let me explain this these are the sales done by the month wise if you see month wise sales are done now if i keep on adding month wise sales and if i want to find out the cumulative addition what are those so right now if you see that is 812597 and if i combine this both sales if i combine this first and second i'll be getting this one so if you see if i select this option and if i click on this place if i select both this one the total of this one is given here that is sum equal to 1419990 and this is the sum which is given here if i combine three of them like this if i combine three of them calculation of sum of all these three is how much 2 uh, 243954 and that is the calculations so run, uh, running sum of total means you keep on adding every month calculations and you'll be getting a graph itself so how do i calculate this kind of option here so this is one example so how do i create it first of all i'll just bring the options as measure names and the month which is given here click on this close clear the sheet first of all i'll bring this option as let's say the order date order date into these columns and then i'll pick up this sales into this text part itself and i'll just swipe this field yeah i'll just swipe this field itself now i'm getting the year wise the entire total but what if i want the month wise i'll just click on this plus sign and i'll remove this outside these are the quarter wise click on the plus sign again and this becomes in the month wise so i'm getting month wise the sales but what if i want the cumulative addition of all these numbers pick up the sales and you can drop into the rows part itself now what happens is if i pick up as it is in this place it is nothing but in the continuous format what i'll do is i'll try to change into a discrete format so just click on this drop down and i can select this option as convert to discrete so here if you see that's the same sales which i'm getting here now i don't want this kind of sales but what i want is i want cumulative sales that means if i add both of them i should get the addition this both are same if you observe this both sales are right now same as it is how do i convert into a running total that means if i add both of them i should get the numbers here if i add three of them i should get the answer here so click on this drop down on this place and uh, if you observe here there's a quick table calculation and here it is running total so i'll just click on this running total and if you observe i've got this total here so combining both of them i'll be getting this answer if you combine all of them the last one you'll be getting this particular answer so, so this is how you can work on cumulative total let me explain you the same example with the help of a bar graph itself so first i'll create a bar graph here i'll press ctrl m and what i'll do is i'll pick up this order priority let's say order date and drop into the columns select this sales and drop into the rows which i've got and i'll convert into a you can say as the bar graph again and second once again i'll pick up this sales and drop into this part itself select the sales and i'll drop into this rows itself now what is the how do i find out the running total or how do i find out cumulative total this is the normal sales year wise they have given if you see that's a year wise sales now i'll just select this option as t on this place and i'll expand this so you can see that clearly yeah so these are the sales which are done now what i want is i want addition of all the sales i don't want like every sale how, how, how it is given here i want to see every year how much is the sales done at this place so i want to keep on adding here how do i get the running total so if i select this option the second one that means the second graph which is given here select this option and if i say i want quick table calculations running total and if you observe the graph has changed what is it is trying to say if you are if you add this 2012 and 2013 if you add both of them you'll be getting this answer if you add all three of them you'll be getting this answer so every year it is adding and finally it is giving you the total sum finally it is giving you the total sum it is not visible because i have to expand this size itself so if you if you calculate this addition of these two numbers you will be getting this this number itself that means they are both added if you can combine this three you will be getting this particular addition so this is nothing but running total or you can say cumulative total which i've got it with the help of this bar graph itself 
Now, now if I show you with the help of this example one, which I've got it here. Okay. In this place, I'll show you one more example here. Yeah. I'll just create one more sheet here. Control M. And with the help of this line chart, I can show you how the cumulative total works. So first of all, I'll bring this order date into this columns and I'll select this sales and drop into the rows part itself. So I have got this, you know, sales year wise. If you observe, that's a year wise sales. What I'll do is I'll pick up this category and drop into this colors. So these are category wise sales, which are done all the years. Now, what I want is I want not the total. I'll select this option from here and I'll select as I want as discrete format. So this is the discrete format, which I don't want. So I'll select this drop down and I'll select as continuous format, which is perfect here. In this place, what I can say is these are the sales which is showing it is highest and lowest and then the lowest one. I don't want, I want the running total like this one, which I've shown here. I want the running total at this place. So every year it should show me that it is going upwards, right? So how do I get it? Again, I'll click on this drop down, select this as quick table calculations and I'll see as running total. And if you observe, that's a running total of all the sales. Total sales done will be given here. And if I want to make in the form of another graph itself, I'll just click on this drop down. And if I select this option as area, and if you see that's an area graph, which is prepared here. So this is how you can, uh, you, can, you know, you can work on this table calculations using this W part itself. So I hope you have understood. These are the different examples in uh, table related calculations. That's all for this video.